Well, hello everybody. This is Lisa De Nicolitz, writer for a year, and I know I've been a little MIA, but I've been really busy um, doing interviews and writing blogs and being on discussion panels online. And I'm currently in a very exciting spot. I'm at thatchannel.com, and I'm waiting to be interviewed by Sharon Crawford, aka Dana Bowman, and this promises to be a really fun event. And so that should be airing next week. And I just wanted to share with you a fact that I saw in the International Thriller Writers. That's Hugh saying hi. And uh, it, that is that the International Thriller Writers represents more than 40, uh, authors in 49 countries and over 3.2 billion books in print. 3.2 billion. So that gives you something to think about. So as I say, I've been wandering around doing a lot of promotional activities behind the scenes and that's why I've been MIA. But I will be back. Oh, that, that brings about the question, uh, which you have partially answered. Um, why do you write? You, you went into the first book and um, and but is there anything when you originally said, how old were you when you started writing? Let's go back to that. Oh, maybe eight, I think. Oh, that's younger than me. I was 11. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really trying to encourage people to buy off publisher sites. I'm really trying to encourage people to not buy off Amazon. I know, you know, it's easy. You have Amazon Prime. One click, it'll be at your house the next day. But the thing is, you're, you're not really helping the independent publishers that way. And you're certainly not helping the independent bookstore. I did, I wasn't sure whether people would buy into it. And that was like, I had erotic noir. I had poetic noir literary noir, um, graphic noir. In fact, one of the books was um, the Ms. Pac-Man noir, which I called arcade noir. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and at one point, you know, there, there was a little pushback from some noir purists, like, you know, you're playing really fast and loose with the boundaries of noir. And I said, no, I'm exploring, you know, what, you, you can't sort of play with noir. And I said, I see elements of noir, the influence of noir in these writers' works. And, and so that's what I would like to ask them about. So Lynn Crosby um, did a wonderful post for me. Um, Craig Davidson, writing as Nick Cutter, did horror Noir, I was really, yeah, you, you know, yeah, yes, we'll you respect and that. <laughs> exactly. Sherry Lapina gave me a quote for domestic noir, as did Linwood Barclay. So, a lot of high profile writers really embraced the concept and jumped on board with me. Terry Favreau did Catholic noir, which was totally oh, one of my favorite. That one. <laughs> <laughs> So many opportunities out there. And my my way of working is this. I do what works for me. For example, Wattpad. People are like, Wattpad's the thing. You know what I mean? You can put Wattpad didn't work for me. I didn't find it user friendly. I I didn't like connecting. I didn't feel the connection mm. to other writers, to put it that way. So I tried it and I tried it for a year. So it's not like I sort of like, you know, go in, dip my toe in and then off I go saying, oh, that didn't work. I, I give things a really fair go. But I think the thing with promoting, the most important thing is to find what works for you. So, you know, if something doesn't work for you, but something else does, then, then go down that road. And then... Off back there, so I guess we're going to have to kind of wind it down, or they won't bring a hook out for us. But but um, so I think what we usually do at the end is we hold. I don't know how, how you have to choose which books, but we usually hold up a copy of our books, and um, so people can see them. Get rid of the pen, and um, you put that one in front. Uh, yeah, maybe get the peaches. You got to get the peaches up. Yeah, got to get peaches up. Yeah. Yeah. So those are those are Lisa's three latest books. These are my two. The other ones that I didn't bring it in. Uh, juggling act it's actually the smallest book but of course don't bring it the smallest one so anyway thank you very much lisa for coming thank you on sharon Com thank you very very much oh, and dana thank you dana did you hear that you're saying oh she's bowing over there <laughs> <laughs> anyway um it has been a pleasure to chat with you and uh learned a lot as well and oh, great um, so 
we're, we're going to have to go now. There won't be a hook, but still we have to go. So thank you all for watching, and uh, we will be back, at least uh, Dana and I will be back sometime in the near future with another episode of Crime Beat Confidential. So until then, au revoir.